Hello Star Wars fans and collectors and welcome to a brand new Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review we're going to be taking now at a character that appears in the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show. And in today's review we're going to be taking up now that appears in a few episodes at the very start of Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 3 as part of the uh, Attack on Kamino arc where this character does have a few scenes and eventually gets killed off by Sarge Ventures as the droids Ventress and General Grievous invade the clone facility on Kamino. It's a pretty uh, gruesome death, but that's Star Wars for you. People say it's a kid's show, but it really isn't. But this character did have some screen time, and obviously they released a figure of this character way back when. I wasn't able to get this figure, but as the Vintage Collection has decided to re-release this version as part of the Vintage Collection, I was able to get this character. Really pleased with the purchase. The design is the exact same as the recent ARC Troopers they brought out, but obviously in the clone colours of this character. And I'm really impressed with it, and it's been a while trying to track this figure down due to the popularity and the high demand, but I managed to get it on my uh, trusty website, that is staractionfigures.co.uk. And the character we're going to take up today is this one. It is the Clone Commander Cult from Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 3. As I said, Commander Cult, he was a bit of a hard figure to track down due to the popularity, but I managed to get him on staractionfigures.co.uk. As I stated, they released an older version of this character way back when, and I'm pleased that the Vintage Collection has decided to re-release this version as a Vintage Collection figure, and obviously I'm really pleased to have added it to my Clone Wars shelf. I've obviously got Havoc, I've got Cult, and I also managed to track down Blitz, which I will be reviewing in a future Star Wars video. So stay tuned for that. But in terms of Cult, the color scheme is fantastic in terms of obviously the gray, the blue, and obviously hints of red, which is nicely done. But really impressed with the overall design, sculpt, and obviously likeness to the clone actor Tamar Morrison but overall a fantastic figure of cult we'll take a look at this fella in a few moments but let's take a look at the vintage collection card that comes with this figure and as you see this is the vintage collection card for Commander Cult at the very top you've obviously got the 20th anniversary of Star Wars I believe it's Star Wars Clone Wars that's right just double check in there the Clone Wars logo at the top the name of the character, the plastic bubble that protects the figure, the Kenner logo, and obviously an appearance of him in the Clone Wars TV show. Turn the packaging around, you've obviously got the Star Wars logo there, other figures that appear in the wave, and the legal stuff at the very bottom. So that's Commander Colt's packaging. Let's take a look at this figure in more detail. As you see, Commander Colt, he does come with plenty of articulation, movement at the top of the head, shoulders, elbows and in the wrists. Torso is movable as well, movement in the legs, movement in the knees and movement in the ankles. Accessory wise he does come with a few, he does come with the large clone rifle there. He does come with the shorter rifle on the back part of his backpack and he does come with two blaster pistols in the holsters at the side and obviously the main accessory as well he does come with a removable helmet and underneath you've obviously got the generic look of the clone trooper and you've also got his coloured hair as well which is a slightly sort of greyish colour so I'll just give you a zoom in so there's obviously the likeness to Tamar Morrison you've obviously got the coloured hair at the top you've obviously got the uh, pauldron which is nicely done the sculpted rifle which comes up really nice as well and basically a generic look but it's really really cool and obviously the head sculpt you can move it as well so that's nicely done you've obviously got the colour art of red and grey and then we've got hints of black and hints of blue and obviously you've got your pistols and all the accessories that the art troopers will use and then moving down to the legs as well, which is nicely done. 
but the detail is absolutely fantastic and what you can do is you can obviously just put on the helmet and obviously you've got the side bit as well which can move up and down as well which is nicely done but in terms of what you're getting the figure is the exact same but in terms of it being cult and being a harder clone trooper to find and eventually track down really really pleased with the purchase and uh, it wouldn't surprise me this clone trooper was a sell out fast again because obviously the popularity and obviously people wanted to pick this figure up again obviously you don't need to pick it up again if you've got the older version but if you're a clone collector like myself and a Star Wars fan then why not because obviously this clone trooper is really really cool and as I said he got killed in season 3 of the Clone Wars along with Ark Trooper Havoc as I said Blitz will be reviewed in a future video in terms of what you're getting with Command the Cult really really nicely done in terms of the articulation paint applications and overall being a fantastic figure so that's Clone Commander Cult or Arc Commander Cult from Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 3 I'll be back with many more Star Wars reviews very soon be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel follow me on Facebook and Instagram and I will see you very very soon so until next time thank you very much for watching take care look after yourself and as always may the force be with you